much longer. But well, look at Ric Flair. Look, Rick, you know there. what? He's living the dream. He he's still Ric Flair every he's day. Still Ric Flair. He's just not wrestling in the ring. He's just doing it in the streets everywhere. You know, it woo! Is he's unbelievable. Like, tell the story yeah. about how you were partying with him the other day, dude. So, <laughs> so he's in town, and uh, he hits me up on a Sunday at like noon. He's like, "Let's let's hit the streets tonight. Show me the city. Let's uh." have some drinks and pick up some babes. I'm like, okay. <laughs> he, he goes, I'm done with this comic book signing at 5 p.m. I'm like, sweet, I'll meet you at 5. About a half hour later, he goes, I'm going to be done with the comic book signing at 1.30. <laughs> That's Rick. <laughs> so I go. I he go, shafted the fans three and a half hours. I go, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I go, okay, I'll meet you. Where do you want me to meet you? He's like at this hotel bar. I go to this hotel I, I say I find the first like security guy I know I go where's the bar and he points like that it was just right over his shoulder and I just see that white flanking hair <laughs> yeah. and there are on each side of them three and three just flight attendants fucking <laughs> nurses I mean just a gaggle of geese and I'm walking up and I'm like this is like what you what I've heard about forever I'm like walking up to like a music video or the story <laughs> or the cartoon of Ric Flair. And sure enough, he introduced this. These ladies work at Southwest Airlines. This one's a this. This is that. And we, he goes, let's hit the streets. I'll get us a car. And uh, he gets a car. He gives the guy a stack of hundreds. He goes, you're going to be our driver for the day. <laughs> this random right. Uber driver is like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gosh, He's like, you're going to be our so driver. Money. Oh, it's unbelievable. And he is just the man. He start. I mean, he was already pounding vodka cranberries. He's yeah. like, what do you want to drink? I'm like, I'll have what he's having. I haven't had a vodka cranberry since I was like 17 years <laughs> old. And I swear to God, we went all day. We went from 1.30 to he didn't leave me until like 8 p.m. He like knew his limit. He's like, I'm going to get back. He didn't seem drunk at all. You he know must what? have had 17 vodka I, cranberries. I, 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 think, I think it's because he's drunk all the time. That's what I think. And he's so nice to everybody. There was a, is, there's a part is, of me yeah. when you're, you know, when I, I've been around so many big people for so long where I'm like kind of, if they're with me, I'm like kind of protective. Like, come on, give them some air, this and that. But he was just embracing everybody. He was so cool. <laughs> So nice, and everyone's everyone gravitates towards him. Walk he a loves flock the of flame, yeah. Rappers he, or like talk I to heard, anybody, yeah. yeah, yeah. Walk a flock of flame. One of the good, great rappers shows up. He goes, "Yeah, Rick, I heard you were here. What's up? Let's hang out." <laughs> like people find out where he is and gravitate towards him. It is, it's everything you hear about. It's like being inside of a a story. It's hard to describe. He, he's a he, lot of fun. He is living Rick legend. Flair. He he's is. a real living legend. Yep. Yeah. He, he lives a gimmick 24-7. Yep. And he says he's making more money now with, he is. with his cannabis company he is. than he ever made in pro wrestling. You know what? He told me when he was in WCW, he was only making uh, 600 a year, 600 grand a year. Wow. And, and it's because um, when WCW, WCW bought out Crockett, the, the promotion down in, in the south, when they bought it out, they bought out Rick's contract. His con